In today's video, we're going to explore background patterns and masks in the new uh, Divi theme update. This is a background effect you can add to any uh, sort of module element or section, and it's it's pretty nifty. So this is a cool new feature, at least at the time of making the video, that allows you to uh, really customize the background of some of your modules. So I'm not going to uh, beat around too much. We're just going to go straight into it. Uh, if I'm on this header here and I click the gray cog module, or any module or any section that has a background that you can play with. Head to background and now you notice we've got these two new features, background masks and background patterns. So if I go to the background mask, I can add a mask here and you'll see I have this new mask that covers a portion of my image. I can make this mask black. I can even go into my color drop down here, make it semi-transparent if I want to. And I can set up different masks to go over my image and uh, this is great if you have text that's left aligned to one side of your uh, image. Now there's a few options here as well, like the mask aspect ratio you can change depending on what you think is going to look best. Um, you can stretch to fill or you can simply hit cover and it'll actually just make it the right proportion. You can also just make it fit, which is a bit funny looking in this particular instance. Or you can have a custom size, which allows you to simply enlarge the height and move it around like that. And you can then also change that aspect ratio to suit as well. So you've got a few options there to really get it the way you want. Now this obviously is just the percentage of the actual background. So if you don't want it to cover the full background, you can make the width less. And then the mask position can move to say top left and you have therefore a left aligned mask. And you can also offset it as well and move things around and play with those settings. So that's pretty cool that you've got a few options there and you've got different blend modes like you would in Photoshop, such as Color Burn or Exclusion, which doesn't show anything because I've got a white background. Uh, so if I change that background color to white, we get this Exclusion effect. Um, so you've got a few pretty cool options there when playing with these masks. Now, we're gonna check out some of the masks themselves because you do have a few options. Now you can see here we've got some something simple like we've got this little curve which means I can change the width a little bit and move that around or an arch I should say. We've got this other cool effect here with the sort of like the little diagonal lines and of course we can still stretch to fill or cover and change those settings around to get an effect that we like. This effect here I'm going to change this to center so we can get a pretty cool effect there as well. Also, you can invert the mask, move it around, flip it. So you've got a few options there as to where you want to position it. And uh, so it's, it's pretty handy and pretty cool, really. But you sort of get the idea. We've got all these different effects that you can have. And the once again, you can change that aspect ratio. I'm going to move it over to, say, custom size again. And just sort of maybe I want to move this here. I can rotate it invert it, move it over to there if I want to. I can really have a bit of fun with the positioning of this mask. So you can see here, some pretty cool options. So it's just a matter of going through and exploring those options to see what you come up with. But Elegant Themes have done a great job of creating some pretty unique uh, setups here. So if you've got a, a heavily right aligned image, that could be very, uh, very handy indeed. So uh, let's go top, let's go center right. Or we go top or bottom right to play with that. You sort of get the idea. Anyway, so yeah, we've got these cool masks that are worth exploring. Have a bit of a play with those. Make sure you've updated to the latest version so you can really uh, get the most out of this and check it out for yourself. Now, the other thing is we have background patterns. So if I click on this pattern here, I can add a background pattern. As you can see now we have these dots. If I go back to this mask first for a second, I'm gonna make this mask just a little bit semi-transparent just for to keep it on there. Although, no, for the sake of the video, we'll get rid of it altogether. So we'll go to our pattern. You can see we've got these dots here. Now, same as before, I can change the color. I can make them red, green. I can still add gradients and other, and other sort of things to my image and place it over the image. So you got when you start combining these, you get some pretty powerful effects. So 
by adding that background now playing with the pattern once again the we have where the pattern starts we can offset it move it and the pattern size we can change that to fit so you can get quite big with it you can stretch or you can go custom again so we can actually enlarge and decrease that pattern height and change the proportion so we've got polka dots here we've got lines such as this once again we can go semi-transparent and we can even check out some pattern blend modes here and go to exclusion again to get another crazy effect there so if we knock the opacity up we get this pretty cool effect in the background and it's just really cool you can repeat or you can choose through a space to repeat in between so you can sort of get that idea with the pattern height things like that repeat vertical so it only repeats vertically or repeat horizontal so it only repeats horizontally we'll change the pattern so you can see what we're looking at here so maybe this one still isn't showing up because i've made that pattern width a little too small but you can see here we've got it on one side of the image so the pattern can almost act like a mask if you want it to or we can repeat it horizontally so it goes across horizontally repeat with a space again repeat and stretch there's so many options here that are worth playing with in order to get this looking the way you want now once again we're going to check out some of these patterns as well we've got this little 3d effect we'll change that width a little bit and we're going to change that from inverted so we can see what we're doing again to normal so you can see here how easy it is to come up with cool effects on your patterns so i've matched this sort of to the design of the site and it looks pretty good just with the cubes or the wavy lines here scallops uh, now this is a good one i think to flatten out if you want a really cool effect and once again bring that transparency down so you sort of get the idea now what's really cool about this like i said is when you start to combine these effects so we've got this effect here and we've kind of dumped it dumped it down to about there so maybe you want to add a mask now to sort of capitalize a bit further we're going to go black this time and we're going to just tone it down a little bit and you can see here with this image we've got a pretty cool effect so now even if i go in and change the image i decide i want something else i maintain this really cool effect over the top and i still get some cool imagery behind there so just wanted to show you guys that uh, a recent addition to divi a very cool effect the masks and patterns worth having a play with so nothing too extreme today just really exploring this feature but uh check it out log in to your page build or to wordpress make sure you update the, the theme first and go in and play with the background effects and see what you can come up with now uh, yeah so um, i hope you liked that video if you did please consider giving it a like otherwise i hope to see you guys again soon and have a great day